Hey YouTube, I'm here to do another haul video for you guys. Um, this is my third or fourth time, I don't remember recording this. I actually had to go to the store and get a whole new memory card. But anyways, we're, sh <laughs> we're we should be good now. Um, so this haul is going to be um, from Front Porch Candle Company. And if you guys don't know already, it's amazing. Angie's amazing and her stuff. It smells so good. It will smell up your whole house. It's really good quality. And there's so many, like, varieties of scents that she has and things that she does with them. And it's, it's awesome. So, without further ado, here's all my stuff. Okay. So, if you guys aren't familiar with her, she has um, free shipping on any of her orders, which is probably why she's a little bit more expensive than other people, but I really don't think she is. I mean, when you sift it all out, because, you know, everybody else has shipping and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, okay, so, every time she ships it, she always ships it with this Avoid Heat and Deliver to Door um, label, so that's awesome, so all your... She um, has these little tarts. She calls them grubbies. So all your grubbies do not melt. And anyways, let's get into it, people. All right. So I got a couple of grubbies. Well, I got a bunch of individuals. I got a couple of four packs of grubbies. Um, and then I believe I have a loaf in there as well, which we'll get to that in a second. But anyways. Okay. So these are her grubbies. They come in a four pack. And... Um, this one is in the scent Pink Laundry. Um, and, I'm sorry you guys, I don't know, this stuff is sticking to me, but, um, I heard really good things about this one, um, so I really, really wanted to try it. She's got so many scents, like, I can't keep up with all of them, and I'm addicted to it. I stalk her website. Um, she does update her scents and, um, add new ones to it about, I think, Monday through Friday, and she usually, um, posts it on her Facebook group, um, between, like, 3 and 5 every day, Monday through Friday, um, on the new things that she does and adds, like, her new scents. So, yeah. Just warning, you guys, you're going to be addicted, but it's amazing. Okay. So, Pink Laundry smells just like it's same. It smells like laundry, but it's a very, like, sweet kind of just soft, subtle smell. Really, really nice. So, I can see why people really like this one. Um, it would just make your house smell just cozy and clean. Love that. Okay, so the next floor pack I got was Cotton Candy Marshmallow, which I heard her cotton candy is amazing, and her marshmallow scent apparently is to die for, which hopefully it is, because I think that's what I got an entire loaf in, but anyways, um, so, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, these come in really, really cute little, um, cellophane bags. They're all usually different, and they just come with a little twisty tie, and that's what I'm trying to really just like get out of, or open, rather. Okay, so this one is Cotton Candy Marshmallow. It's a very interesting scent. Um, all of her scents, I'm sorry, let me show you guys the grubbies. Aren't they cute? They're just little around they're like I think they're supposed to be around one ounce and they're perfect to um, just drop in your warmer you don't have to measure anything so really like these um, this is a very sweet I don't know how to describe it it's just very sweet and it's kind of subtle um, it's really hard to describe her scents because I swear to you guys, like, half the stuff is, like, nothing you've ever thought of or smelt before. It's just really, really, it's amazing what she does. It's awesome. Okay. So, this scent is in Luby Lavender Noel. It's a four-pack as well. And I heard, think I forgot to tell you guys, these are $5.25, um, which I don't think is bad at all. Um, their individual grubbies, if you buy them by themselves, are 175 So, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's a whole lot cheaper to go this route. 
Um, she also has them in 12 pack um, grubbies and she's got all kinds of stuff. She's got sliceable loaves and shapeables and um, I know I'm forgetting something. You guys have to go check her out. Um, I'll try to link her below. Um, it's really, really, really awesome stuff. Okay, so this scent is Loopy Lavender Noel. And this is my husband's favorite scent. Well, not the um, Loopy Lavender, but the um, Fruity Loops. This smells, it's very nice. It's not overly sweet like Fruit Loops can be sometimes. It's got a very subtle, like, um, muted sweetness to it. Um, you definitely smell the lavender in it, but the Fruit Loops are just awesome. You guys have to try their Fruit Loops. It's my husband's favorite. It smells just like Fruit Loops. It's insane how she does that. Um, so that's awesome. I think the other things in here are just, um, just individual grubbies and then I have that one loaf um so this one is in strawberry fruity loop noel and So much of the fruity lips in this one a tidbit definitely smell the strawberry more of a noel i smell um might not be that way for everyone but um it's really good smelling um and some of her stuff smells really different when you um melt it in the warmer so like a few things that i haven't been quite sure of and i melted them and they were awesome so um yeah the only one that I just couldn't, I just didn't like, which is the only one that I've ordered several by now, um, was 14 Carrot Cake, and I just, I couldn't get into that scent. I don't know what it was about it, but I just, I couldn't. Um, anyways, so, this one is Primitive Gathering. And... This one had really good reviews too. It smells like a Christmas store. I know that sounds weird, but it's very spicy. And it's got an interesting undertone to it that I'm not really sure um, what it is. It kind of smells a little potpourri to me. Um, that one ought to be interesting. I will save this one for um, the holidays. Now, I will say some of her... Um, I like to let some of her things sit a little while before I melt them because I feel like the oils um, just get stronger and it's just a louder smell. And I really like loud smells or whatever. So sometimes I'll let them cure. They really don't need it. Um, her scents are pretty strong anyways, but I just like that little extra. Okay, this one is called Lemon Butter Fudge Bread, which sounds like it smells amazing. And, oh my goodness, you guys, like, you do smell the lemon, but then it's just like a creamy, like, buttery, but not like, not like butter on popcorn butter, just like smooth. Oh, this one smells really good really good and that one was um lemon butter fudge bread um, her bread scents are really amazing they're really really good they're not spicy or weird or anything like that okay so this one is cranberry orange cake and i wasn't going to get this one but i saw this one on a bunch of youtube videos and people were really raving about them or about it um
You know, it um the one I just smelt primitive gathering. It's got this um undertone to it that you guys I can't I don't know what it is. It's like a spicy something. But I do smell the orange. A tiny bit of the cranberry. It's got some weird um spice undertone to it though. Um so I'm interested to see how that one smells um, melting. Um, it's a very interesting smell. Um, I'll try to let you guys know how that ended up. Not sure about that one. Um, this next one is Amish Quilt. And of course every time you order it's the first one on there. So I'm always like, hmm, I wonder what that smells like. So I had to get it this time. And I don't know if I told you guys this is my only second time ordering, but love it. I've ordered another time since then. This one's hard to describe. It's a clean scent. Very soft. Um, this one's like a blanket almost, actually. Probably why it's called Amish Quilts, but um, this one smells really good. This one's um, it's a very calming scent. I'm sorry. It and show you guys. It's Amish book. I do like that one. I'm sure that one will smell nice in the um, warmer. So this next one is called Family Christmas and I'm really trying to get some of the more um, Christmassy type scents and whatnot. Um, so you guys know um, I haven't uploaded any Bath and Body Work like haul videos because this is what I'm addicted to at the current moment. <laughs> um, I'm really trying to get back into it. I still love my stock. I really do. I love their candles. I've just been just like zoned in on this and once I get addicted to something it's like that one thing for a month and then I'll go on to something else. But anyways, still love Bath and Body Works so you guys hang on. There will be more hauls for that. This one is a very interesting smelling one. It, it smells like pine trees. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like some type of pine tree or tree of some sort. I would like, I'm going to burn this one or melt this one. Um, definitely closer to Christmas for sure. Um, so that one's, that one's good. Alright, so... This next one is Green Apple Noel, and I really wanted to smell this one. Um, I, I thought I got a four pack in it, but maybe I didn't. She enclosed a packing label. I'm just too lazy to look at all that, so yeah. Ooh. This one smells like green apple candy, but not so tart. It's a softer green apple. I really like that one, Green Apple Noel. Okay. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not even showing you the labels, but okay, so this one is crescent rolls. I was so interested to smell this one. Cause I wanna know if it really smells like crescent rolls or if it smells like something completely different. Um I just like it smells like butter bread, but I don't know. This smells definitely a wild card. Definitely smells like bread. I don't know if it smells like crescent rolls, but definitely got a heavy bread scent. Um, so that one ought to be interesting to burn for sure. I just love the variety of scents she has. Like, it, it, some of them are so unique. Like, who would think to have a scent called crescent rolls? I mean, that's just crazy, but I love it. Okay, so this next one. Um, as you guys know, my husband loves pumpkins, so I got pumpkin funnel cake, and who doesn't love funnel cake? So. This one's good. I don't, it's not so strong pumpkin. It's very mellow. And it's got a sweetness to it. I really like that one. This little, and... I don't know if you guys can see, but look, 
It's got little fall leaves on it, which I think is really cute because, of course, it's the pumpkin one, which is awesome. So, then, I'm sorry guys, this is going to be a long video because I have quite a few of them. Um, this is Dreamy Mallow Berry Cake, and I definitely wanted to try this one. smells really good. I feel like it's got like a blueberry um, like undertone or whatever to it. Mm. This one's delicious y'all. This one smells really good. I really like it. Great. And the next one is lemon sugar cookie dough bread. Um, I heard the pink sugar cookie dough bread was really good. Um, but that one's never available because I guess it's just that good that I can never get my hands on it. And I love lemon, so I thought, hmm, try the lemon one. Wow. This smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I want to eat it. It smells so good. You guys really need to try that. And if I ever can get my hands on the pink sugar cookie dough bread, absolutely. It's a very soft, a tiny bit of sugar cookie, not overpowering, not too sweet, not sickening. Oh, that one's really good. And that was lemon sugar cookie dough bread. Um, okay, this one I really wanted to try because people are talking about um, like the zucchini smells or whatever. They really like those. I was thinking zucchini, like how can that, I just didn't think it would smell really good, but we shall see. Well, I only got a little one because I just, or just a single. It smells, it smells really good actually. I like the smell of it. Which I'm really surprised by because, like, I just thought zucchini, like, I don't know, bland vegetable. Doesn't smell like that. I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. It smells really good, though. It's really subtle. It's not overpowering or anything crazy. Like, I'm sorry. I'm getting wax all over myself. But it's really surprising. Um, I didn't think I would like that one, but I do like it. Okay, so the next one I got is apple cinnamon donuts. These are packaged really well. Like, I can't get in a half of them. They're packaged so well. Wow, that's a very strong um, cinnamon very strong apple, spicy. I don't get much of the donuts. Very apple cinnamon though, it's good. I like it. I'll be saving that one for the fall as well. And then, sorry you guys, I still got more. Okay, let me try to hurry. Okay, so this next one is um, Fruity Loops Zucchini Bread, which I was excited to try because it's Fruity Loops and it's the zucchini bread that I thought was interesting. Anyways, um, this one's very good. It just smells like a muted down Fruity Loops. With a hint of something. Not really sure, but it smells really good. I like that one. Definitely probably gonna pop a um, Fruity Loops in the warmer. My husband's gonna be so excited that I have more. So, that was good. And then I think the last, yeah, okay, so the last grubby I had is Back Porch in Florida. Um, and I really wanted to try one of their back porch or front porch, whatever smells. Um, so, It's very clean. This one's like gain, but but not gain necessarily. Just really, really clean, good smell. I like it. That one's good. It does have a um, beachy vibe to it, so 
I'm excited about that one. Okay, you guys, so the thing I am most excited for is my baby loaf. Isn't that cute? It is in the scent marshmallow, which I've never smelled before, but it's such a staple scent. I can mix it with any of these. Cut your grubby in half. Cut a little slice off of this cute little puppy. How cute is that? I love the little loaf. And it's in a little aluminum pan. And they're all, everything she does is all hand poured. And just awesomeness. But a lot of people are saying they love, love, love her, um, Marshmallow scent, so I was like, why not get it in a loaf? Because I want to try her loaf anyway. It's a very interesting smell. No. It does smell marshmallowy um, on cold sniff, but it's not like overpowering. I don't like the sickening sweet smells, but I do like sweet smells. This one's going to be really good to um, either melt by itself or to mix with um, any of these other ones. So I'm really excited about that. And it's so stinking cute. Love it. Okay, so anyways, I know this is already a long video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yes, check out Front Porch Candle Company. They're awesome, awesome, awesome. And thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.